Hey family, my name is Tony Collier and I'm the founder of Broken Crayon Still. Hey family, my name is Tony Collier and I'm the founder of Broken Crayon Still Color, a women's ministry based right out of Atlanta, helping women process through brokenness and get on the other side to hope. Hey family, my name is Tony Collier and I'm the founder of Broken Crayon Still Color, a women's ministry based right out of Atlanta, helping women process through brokenness and get on the other side to hope. One of the things that we talk about a lot in our ministry is the heart. And I'm excited today to unpack Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 with you today. Here's what it says, friends. The human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? Ouch, right? I mean, this is talking about this idea that the prophet Jeremiah is unpacking this idea that our hearts are deceptive, that our hearts don't know good from evil and evil from good. And sometimes because of that, we can do really bad things. We can hurt people. We can get ourselves in situations where we hurt our own hearts. We can make the wrong decisions. We can say the wrong things. We can choose hatred over love because our hearts, they're deceitful. But that's not where the story ends. I love this scripture because uh, the verse following it uh, kind of reminds us who's in charge, who can help us with this tension of the heart. And here's what verse 10 says. It says, but I, the Lord, search all hearts and examine secret motives. I give all people their due rewards according to what their actions deserve. You see, death is not the end, friends. <laughs> There's still good available for us. There's still hope available for us. And we have a God, we serve a God that says, I know that my people are imperfect. I know that they are wired for struggle. I know that their hearts are gonna deceive them, but I'm looking for the good in them. And not only am I looking for the good, but I am here to reward the good. I want them to know that I want the best for them and I wanna give them the desires of their hearts for their good deeds. So here's the question, friends. In a really difficult time in our world right now, how are you taking care of your heart? What decisions are flowing from your heart? Are they decisions to love unconditionally? Are they decisions that are just, that are righteous, and that are waiting in expectation for God to reward those parts of our heart?